Greetings, Marvelites. E-Money and the old man with you again, ready to watch episode four of Miss Marvel. Four out of six, right? Four out of six. All right. We finished Obi Wan, so uh, our Wednesday's uh, you know a little little easier now. Now that we're not doing two shows. All right. So before we get started today, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, turn on notifications, give us a thumbs up, and if you like, leave us a comment. We're trying to reach a thousand a thousand subscribers. So, if uh, you guys can help us out with that, we'd really appreciate it. And if I like your comment, I might share it with uh, everyone on the next show. Speaking of which, so we have our comments from last week's episode. So, what happened in last week's episode? So, uh, Kamala learns a little bit more about her past and finds out that she's part Jin. And I'm not we, really sure what the term Jin means in this in this. In this reality. Context. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, we find out that the other Jin are looking to uh, kill her so that they can uh, get her, her get her bangle, and I don't know what what they want to do. Get back to their own reality, I yeah, guess. Yeah, they want to get back to their own dimension. Dimension world. Whatever. Right. And uh, one of them wasn't too pleased with that. Uh, what was his name? Uh, Cameron. Okay. Yeah. So uh, he wasn't happy about that. And also, uh, her friend, I'm always forgetting her name. Oh, I had it last week. Well, she saw that she has powers and that she was the one doing all the superhero stuff earlier. Boy, and, she was mad. Yeah, she was. Kamala didn't tell her. Yeah, she was not happy about any of that. Doggy, she was mm -hmm. mad. And then, at the end, we find out that Nani also saw the train that Kamala uh, saw during uh, her uh, vision. vision when uh, one of the Jin grabbed her bracelet. So Nani apparently knows more than she initially lit on. All right, so now for everyone's comments. Uh, Joseph Morales says, I've been a fan of Miss Marvel, and man, they casted her perfectly. They did? Mm-hmm. The episode has been my favorite, or this episode has been my favorite. They've done such a good job of building up her family and friends and surrounding that now we are getting into the neat of the story. As far as new characters go, I think she will be the most fleshed out new character come her film debut. So, I, mean, I don't know, you know when that's going to happen, but uh, you, know, you may make a good point, Joseph. <sighs> who has been, I mean, Kamala and Moon Knight are the only ones who have been introduced in TV format so far, right? Introduced, unless you count the Netflix shows, yeah. Right, unless you count Daredevil, <clears throat> which you know he's the only one who's well Kingpin. I mean Daredevil and Kingpin. Yep. But uh, yeah, and, and the new Hawkeye. Okay, yeah, she she was introduced in TV show format. Okay, all right. So MK says I feel bad for Cameron here. All right, so Cameron's yeah, the duh. the uh, the son, right? Yeah. He's grown up basically as a human around humans, and his mother expects him to be okay hurting or harming the yeah. only home he's ever known. Yeah, he's not getting the, the, the best uh, deal. Mm -mm. So, of course, he fought back. MK also says, there was only six episodes for this season. Hopefully there are more, because in the comics, Kamala has teamed up with a lot of heroes. Yeah, it, it makes me sad that we're probably not going to see her in Spider-Man. And We're not going to see her, like, go all gaga over one of her, her idols. Yeah. I mean, right now I'm hoping for uh, Captain Marvel to show up at the end of the show. That's about all. Aren't they slated to be in a movie together? Yeah, the, the, Marvels? the Marvels. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, uh, uh, MK said, you know, Wolverine, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, all those guys. We'd love to see them team up. I'd love to see anybody introduced on this show that we haven't seen in the MKU. Right. MCU. MCU. Right. The Marvel Universe. All right, and then uh, John Aldrich says. I hope you guys didn't miss the Ten Rings reference in the opening flashback. Uh, I, guess, I guess we did, because... I didn't pick up on it, no. Yeah, when they're in the uh, cave during World War II when they find the bangle. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's the flashback uh, John is referring to, but I don't remember a uh, Ten Rings reference. Yeah. The mythology of Phase 4 is coming together. Also, a lot of people miss that Aisha puts on the bangle... But it cl but it closes again without much effect without much effect. That is related to to what 
uh, Nama says about the Jin not being able to access their power in this dimension. Only one of their kind born on Earth can use the bangle, which is why they named Kamala, or Cameron, I guess. The par a part of me wonders if Nama bore Cameron as an experiment to create a human Jin hybrid to access the Nor power if they ever found the bangle. That would be awful for him. And yeah, the, that kind of makes me sad. Yeah. In the next episode, we're hopefully going to get Aisha's side of the story. There's something we uh, we aren't being told, but Numiba ne knows more than she's saying, too. That Bollywood dance scene is fantastic, and using Living on a Prayer for the rising action is a brilliant choice. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, so uh, everyone, you know, good comments. Appreciate you uh, writing in, and hopefully you do the same this week. All right. So, uh, with that thing being said, I think we covered everything. So, so this is where I tell you, E-Money, push the damn button. Really? Oh, I think we skipped a little bit. Like, just like that? You hop on a plane? Grandma says, come on, you better get <laughs> Sure it is. Ah, uh, so they figured that one out, huh? Mm -hmm. However, I don't know. It's like, I mean, Awkward. right? I mean, you know, you know, my nana, you know, she lived close to us our whole lives. But even if she, if she didn't. And, you know, she told mom, like, you need to come visit, like, right now. Like, not sure if that would no, go over. No, your mom would not have jumped in the car and run over there. Yeah. Unless she said to something wrong, and then she would have come run. Yeah. Come on out, over here. Okay. A little, okay, a little Hawaiian, but whatever. How are you, Sanaa? I don't know how often they see each other. Nanny! Margin in charge! Nanny! Oh, no. <laughs> your skin is so dry. Are you again on one of your strange diets? Yeah. Kamala, shall we go home? That sounds like your stereotypical mother daughter relationship. It's a stereotype because it's true. So, Nani does well for herself. I mean, I don't know what the typical house looks like in Pakistan, but... That ain't it. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that's pretty nice. Oh, yeah. Am I... A gin? Of course. Oh, that okay. Father, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't see it. The whole bus is about. It's just genetics. Oh. Hmm. You're focusing on the wrong thing. It was the middle of partition. Okay, she seems a lot less senile than they made her out to be in uh, previous episodes. She's pretty sharp. Yeah. Under a trail of stars. My cousins are waiting for you. Hmm. Of course they are. Because that's how I want to wake up, you know? Mm -hmm. It's somewhat. Voila. Please don't do it. Hmm. We're here to visit. Uh, I don't think that's visit. an option. Hmm. Hmm? So let's go. Come. Okay, so the trick is, when you get grounded, plan a trip immediately after, because grounding doesn't apply when you're on vacation. Correct. You're going to you get home, don't forget. Yeah, here's hoping. Is that why she's so hot, Kamala? Uh-oh. Is it? Tastes bad or is it spicy? Yeah, it's it um no the temperature is spicy. Mm. You do not warm me this thing with that. Well, typically water doesn't help with those things. But I bet if that's all you got, you're gonna drink it. Mm. I'd be very apprehensive in this this uh, type of marketplace. 
Well, hell yeah. I mean, I went to a few of them when I was in Europe, and it's like I was, I, I was very cautious. Coffee. You know, I thought it might be cool if we checked out the train station. Hmm. Train station? Why? Where is she, Shelby? I was, I thought the exact same thing. Her gateway right now. Yeah, it's, I visited 20 train stations. Uh, well, boy, boy. Some trip. Right? Hey, your grandmother, when we traveled, she had to see all the state capitals. Yeah, okay. So, hey. Ugh. You lost. Hmm. I don't know what 1,500 rubies translates to. Yeah, you know what? Sounds like a lot for a forward picture. Yeah. It's yours if you tell me the direction to the train station. Right. Little, Does little he bit not bit. know left okay. and right? And then for around that donkey cart, you're getting me? Yeah, left. I mean, it feels like I might have wind up back where I am. Uh, I think I need my money back. Right? But she found it, apparently. Not from those directions, she didn't. <laughs> Why? Oh my god, where'd Kamala go? And who's this new person? Right? He must be a superhero. Mm. Or the Lone Ranger, I don't know what. <laughs> you can start small and still be larger. No. Oh, okay. I was reading that, man. Wouldn't you be looking all around, mm -hmm. having a swivel, figuring through that? Yep. Uh, do I know you? Not sure what's worse. No. <laughs> hey. Nice. Somebody's been practicing. Mm hmm. Well, she's got that fist down, doesn't she? Mm hmm. Come on. Uh, Stick with the powers. Drop, drop, drop the steps. Yeah. Oh, so now we're friends. Okay. Like you were throwing knives at me like 10 seconds ago. Have you not read a Marvel comic book? When heroes meet, they always fight first. Then they team up. But you were throwing knives at me. Well, that's, that's his attack method. It's like when when Iron Man hits Thor, it's like Thor can take a hit. Like if she didn't have her shield up, she'd be dead. Yeah. He wasn't trying to hit her. <sighs> All righty then. We have the back cave. Welcome to the Red Daggers. Perhaps we can teach you to open your eyes. Everybody's got a secret entrance nowadays. Red Daggers. Okay, I don't know who funds this group, but they get moolah. I mean, is this is this magic or technology? I'm gonna say technology. It's just one of them. I mean, it's not quite Tony Stark, but it's uh, it's, it's close. I shall go. Until there's nothing left of it. Okay, so let's not do that. I think Bruno was downplaying the things go boom theory. It's important to keep that mango safe. But but we don't talk about I haven't Bruno. Seen that. Yeah. In all no. the years and everything I've heard about that bangle, there was no it's easy. Do you know what it says? It says what you seek is seeking you. So it's a fortune cookie. Hmm. Is that like an important message? I thought. <laughs> all right. When the, when the bad gag guard does that, you know it's going to be a prison break. Yeah. You had two guards transporting them. So she could do that the whole time? Need for Reed Richards to lock them up. Oh, that's right. There is no Reed Richards. Well, apparently this is a uh, Supermax prison, and you know, like this is literally what they're supposed to do, is lock up superpowers. Well, they suck at it. Yeah, but you guys suck at your job. Let's go. I mean... Was that even planned, or were they just winging it? He made his choice. Now he has to live with it. <sighs> Let's go get the bag. Well, if I were him, I'd keep following until you get out. Oh, yeah. Man, Cameron's been just dealt a bad hand his whole life, hasn't yeah. he? Yeah. A reader that, uh, a viewer that felt sorry for him. Yeah. 
Dead on. Mm -hmm. I'm glad. And I thought I needed a break. <laughs> Dynamic seems very familiar if you uh if you're in our family. Yep. Whenever Nana came over, she cleaned. Yeah. It's just, just reverse for our family. I'm still trying. Is it going to destroy my mouth? Like everything else here? It occurs to me that uh all the episodes of uh, Hot Ones Challenge that I've watched, that there's never a, you know, Indian or Pakistani person doing the no, challenge. No, pointless. Right? Mom's doing a sweep. And things she puts away will never be found again. Mm -mm. Her mother is out with her cousin. I mean, I, I think that maybe, maybe it is time for you to start considering coming to live with us. In America. Damn. <laughs> the parallels in our family, man. Yeah. Your Nana came and lived with us for five years. Mm. Uh, don't know that I would. Yeah. Uh, see, I told you. We need strong teeth. Yeah. Thanks you to the matter of this world. Did you get the impression that the Red Daggers were a group? I think. Not just Batman and Robin. Huh? I'd like to see the rest of the group. Alright. You should. Oh. That is history in every thread of the this fabric. Beginning of the costume? You're not alone. It's gotta be something. Is it Elven Silver Silk? Just the best at the moment, it seems. Oh! Game on! Yep. Well, he is Batman. Well, they move fast. Okay, if you were going to close the door, then you should have run. Not wait for them to break through. Mala, punch him. What happened to the other little scooter thing that the bad guys got in? Think they're in another scooter? Yeah, but how'd the bus get past them? I don't know. The bus was in the back. Whatever. I'll, I'll do something, Kamala. You could have taken them, right? With Waleed and Kareem plus Kamala's powers. I'd have been inclined to slug it out. Mm. So soon there's just two of them. Remember on the opposite side of the road, how sick Because you did so well in your driver's test. It's kind of what she did on her driver's test. Sorry. She got that reverse down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She so put her uh, ability to hit things with a car to good use. Oh, don't do the Rufio. Oh. Oh. oh, he did the Rufio. Yeah. Keep going. I mean, can't you just, you know, step up until you get to the roofs? I don't think so. Fine. 
Nice one. Yeah, I mean, stop playing around. Yep, oh, another one down. Oh no, what did you do? I'm gonna guess you found her train. Well, that's not good. Yeah, this is this is the past. You just time travel. Yeah, this is that last train out of India. I bet you. And this isn't a vision. I mean, she's really here. Looks that way. Yeah, your grandmother should be on his train as a child. Right? Yep. Is that what Nani knows? Like she, she met Kamala as a little girl. All right, so there was episode four of Miss Marvel. Some interesting implications here. I'm telling you, this show just is like a lot of Marvel shows. Each episode, mm -hmm. it's better, better, better. Mm -hmm. So, um, the thing, I mean, they, I didn't think they were going to introduce a time travel element to the show, but uh, I mean, all the stuff that uh, Nani was Nani was talking about, and you know, her having to come to Pakistan to see her. I mean, it feels like maybe Nani knows some stuff, and I, oh, yeah. I, I, yeah. I'm thinking, like, she met Kamala when she was a little girl in during the partition, and, you know, she knows that it's uh, about the time when she travels back, and that she has to, had to prepare her. Okay. All right, I mean, that's, that's one theory. Another theory is, I'm hoping we see... Uh, Kamala team up with her great grandmother. Ooh, two bracelets in the same place. I mean, that'd be cool. That could be bad too. Mm -hmm. So uh, I still want to know: Was there a second bracelet? That's what they said during the flashback. And where is it at? I don't know. Uh, may, that that could be another one of those things where we see it in the uh, the uh, final scene in the last episode. Well, where the last bracelet is, re other bracelet is revealed. If the one bracelet or bangle gives her this much juice, what if she's wearing both of them? And so, and one of you guys mentioned the uh, connection to uh, Shang Chi. I mean, is Shang Chi's uh, ten rings made from the same source as the bracelet? Not a clue. Yeah. Wouldn't mind seeing him make an appearance. Uh, yeah, yeah, that'd be pretty cool too. All right, so uh, send us your fan theories, and uh, what do you guys think is going to happen in the last two episodes? Now, and let, me, let me preface that. If you have inside information, if you know something, don't tell us. Yeah, we don't, we don't want to hear it. No, just yeah. if you have a theory and you don't know something, yeah. that's what we want to hear. Yeah, we, we told you guys before, you know, the old man avoids spoiler or avoids trailers thus at all avoid, costs. Thus avoiding spoilers. Right. Uh, he did not see a single trailer to Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness before it came out. Not a lick. From that, he he barely knew that the Scarlet Witch was going to be in the movie. Had no idea how she was going to turn out. Yeah, and you know didn't know you know anything else going into it. That whole uh, you know in the in the first trailer, that whole you know Xavier's voice. We should tell him the truth. No, didn't see that. Didn't know that. Didn't know the Illuminati were going to be in the movie. And so trust me, when you don't know and you see it unfold on screen, it's so much better. Yeah. And he has not seen a single trailer to Thor: Love and Thunder as of yet. A couple things have leaked there, but yeah, not, not much. Because they because they play commercials uh, all over the place on TV right now. I'll be playing a game on my tablet, and a commercial will pop up, and a lot of times the initial scene is enough to mess something mm -hmm. up. And uh, when we go to the movie theater and the trailer for Thor comes up, you know, the old man's like, ah, la, 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 People around me must think I'm some kind of nut job. Right. So, yeah, you know, he, he avoids spoilers at all costs, so don't spoil anything if you know. So, theories only. Please. All right. So, let us know about what you think in the comment section, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Excelsior. True Believers. Tell me. Are you having fun yet?